welcome back to Dark Matter. So this is going to be a review of the AirPods Pro's second generation. I've been using these for the past week or so and I just wanted to give you some of my thoughts, some of the comparisons to my original AirPods Pro's and just give you an idea of if these things are worth the money or not. So the new AirPods come in at $249. Apple has advertised them as having a better transparency mode, of course the new adaptive transparency mode, uh, better noise cancellation, and also just a better audio profile in general. Now full disclosure, I'm not necessarily an audiophile, however I do listen to a lot of music and I make music myself so I do know when a pair of headphones does sound good. And I'll just start with that. These headphones do sound amazing. I thought that the audio on the original AirPods was really good. I thought that for the size and for the portability that they had a pretty strong sound profile, some pretty strong and deep bass, but everything that the original AirPods does well, the second generation pumps up to the next level. Um, and that goes for everything. But for sound, the bass is a lot deeper and richer from what I noticed. There's a lot more separation between the instruments and things like that. And yeah, the, the sound on these is amazing. And I'm honestly really impressed that they were able to raise the bar even more over the original AirPods. I wanna get into the adaptive transparency mode. Um, transparency mode is another one of those things that on the original AirPods, I thought was really great. I thought it was uh, pretty amazing what they were able to do in such a small package. And I feel like the new AirPods Pro does a slightly better job with the transparency mode. If anything, I've noticed that having them in my ears, the, the volumes of things around me is slightly louder than it actually would be if I didn't have anything in my ears, which I find a bit odd. I mean, I love that the transparency mode can allow me to hear what's, you know, outside and what's going on around me, but I don't necessarily feel that I want it to amplify everything around me. If anything, it just sounds a little weird to me, and I, I haven't heard a lot of other reviews talk about that, so maybe I'm alone in thinking that, but yeah, to me, it sounds like it's amplifying everything a little bit around me, and I'm not necessarily sure that I'm the biggest fan of that, but it's cool. However, with the adaptive transparency mode, this is another thing that I was kind of expecting more than I think what I got. And if anything, that's probably just on me and my expectations. It's one of the main features I was looking forward to because it's something that bothers me anyways as far as like hearing loud noises. So I was expecting the transparency mode to yes, lower the volume, but maybe I didn't understand just how aggressive that volume lowering would be, where you can definitely tell that it's adapting to the noises around you, which is nice, but like I said, it is a little disconcerting when you've got the transparency mode on and you can hear how sharply it lowers the volume of something or, you know, reduces the transparency mode to not allow that sound to pass through. You can hear it's really aggressive and you can tell that it's working. Like I said, it may not be a bother to you, but to me, it's a little disconcerting. I'm thinking about shutting that feature off. We'll see, you know, how it goes in the next few weeks or so. I want to be honest with you. A lot of my problems with the first gens may have been just how careless I was with them. I did drop these quite a few times, either, you know, in the case, sometimes out of the case. I dropped them in the case and they'd pop out out of the case and fall, you know, who knows where and I'd have to find them. So a lot of the connectivity issues and stuff like that could have been due to the drops because I didn't notice a whole lot of connectivity issues when I first got AirPods. But going on, you know, a year or so, I started to notice there was a significant delay when I would take the pods out of the case, put them in my ears and connect to my phone to the point where I couldn't answer like every phone call I got right away because my AirPods would still be connecting or I would just choose not to use the AirPods because they just weren't connecting fast enough or at all. When you have those connection issues, it can really put you off of using those. I'm glad to say that so far with the new ones, I haven't had any connectivity issues at all. Anytime I pull them out and put them in my ears within like 
a split second I hear the chime that they're connected to my phone and I can start using them right away. Definitely worth the upgrade for that alone for me personally because those connection issues, like I said, can prevent you from using the product, which kind of makes the product useless to you. So let's talk about the battery life on these. Again, some of the battery life issues on my old ones may have been due to all the drops. It also could be in part due to the way batteries work. I know they degrade over time, but uh, the new ones, I haven't had any battery issues so far. They seem to be lasting quite a bit better than my old ones. And that's been really refreshing for me given how much I use them at work because I'm on these constantly either taking a call, listening to music, watching a video, watching maybe some TikToks or something. I'm constantly on these things, so I need them to last. And so far, I'm glad to say these have been lasting. And now with the added benefit of them being able to charge through MagSafe or through an Apple Watch charger, I have more charging options as well. So I could even charge them up, you know, while my phone is still charging. I don't have to get out an extra charger just for the AirPods. Now let's go over a few of the features that they've added on the AirPods themselves this time around. First things first, the speaker grill on the bottom. This is for Find My so that you can find your AirPods if you've lost them. I haven't really had to use this. I did test out the sound and it is pretty loud. I think you're gonna be able to find them almost anywhere. I do like the little sounds they've added for like charging. They've even added a sound like when you put the AirPods back in the case. Sometimes I've noticed it doesn't play the sound every time, so I'm not sure what that's about, but it's pretty cool with the little sounds here and there. I don't think it's necessarily needed, but if you are losing your AirPods a lot, I think it's a great feature. Another thing they've added is a volume control on the side of the AirPods. You can swipe up on either AirPod to turn up the volume or swipe down to turn it down. I found that to work very well. It's very good about knowing when I'm actually wanting to change the volume or when I'm clicking. So the volume controls are really intuitive and it's something I gotta admit I was always worried about because I know a lot of past products reviewers have said that touch controls like that for volume are really finicky and kind of like clumsy to use and stuff like that but I didn't notice that with these I've enjoyed the feature myself I feel like I don't have to cover the design of these things with you guys they're the same AirPods design that Apple's used for a while now they really haven't changed much aside from the speaker grills and the lanyard loop which I mean look fine I guess they add to the aesthetic or whatever yeah I, I feel like I don't have to go over that with you guys the design is relatively the same. So let's talk about the overall value of the AirPods and whether you should buy these or not. And there's a few different scenarios I wanna talk about here. So the first scenario is you don't have any AirPods at all, or maybe you have the first generation of AirPods but don't have the Pros and are considering getting the Pros. In that case, I would say go ahead and go for the second generation AirPods Pros if you can find them on a good deal. The difference in the sound quality, the difference in the battery life and connectivity and the adaptive transparency mode and things like that, I honestly think it makes it worth it to go ahead and get the second generation because there's less and less places that are carrying the first generation and more and more often they're already having sales on these second generations. The second scenario I want to cover is if you own the first generation AirPods Pros and are looking to upgrade and in that case I would say it depends. It depends on how long you've had the first generation and how good the quality on them still is. If you're like in my shoes where you've had the first generations for several years, they're giving you a lot of connectivity and battery problems, then it would probably be worth it to go ahead and get the second generations as long as you could find a good deal on them. You know, if you're not having too many problems with your first generations, you're still happy with them. The difference in the sound quality just isn't enough for me to justify that purchase. And the same with the adaptive, you know, transparency mode, the noise cancellation, the differences are there. I just don't think they're enough to justify like shelling out a whole another 200 to $250 for a new pair of AirPods Pros. You're not gonna notice them and you're probably gonna end up regretting the purchase a little bit. Just don't contribute to e-waste any more than people already do because these headphones weren't built to be repairable. 
they weren't built to be recyclable really but if you don't have to contribute to e-waste don't like don't get these if you have the first generations and they still work perfectly for you i just think it's gonna be a waste of your money and i don't think you're gonna notice the difference at all i don't think i would have noticed any real difference if i didn't already know what apple had changed and was on the lookout for those things like i said your first pair of airpods pros definitely go second gen definitely find it on a deal. If you're upgrading from the first gens, don't bother with it. Don't do it cuz bro, you're just going to you're just going to waste your money and you're not going to be happy with your purchase, I don't think. That's it. Short review, but that's just a testament to the amount of changes that there are on this product. Thanks for tuning in to Dark Matter. Hey, I want to shout out all the people that are coming back to view my videos. I really appreciate your support. I appreciate the likes. I appreciate the comments telling me what I could do better, telling me what I did good. It's good to hear feedback from you guys, and I want to continue to get better and release better quality videos for you. Let me know in the comments what you'd like me to review next. Subscribe to follow along on this journey, and we'll see you next time.